you know, Stewie is, everybody knows she's just so versatile, you know, she can do so many things. So what we've tried to do this year more than we have in the past is try to put her in more spots on the floor uh, that make her very difficult to, to, to play against. Let's, let's see what you look like over here, Stewie. How about over here? How about here? Do you think you can do what you do from that spot? And she, she loves it because it's a challenge every day. And with her, one of our challenges as a coaching staff is to find ways to challenge her every day. Um, we work really well. And I think, you know, um, like we've known each other for a while, even before we came to Connecticut. And, you know, we know how each other plays. We know where each other wants the ball. And, you know, for me, it actually makes it easy because um, Stewie's really long. So it's not hard for me to pass her the ball. Uh, so I think that's something that we do a lot of, like, high-low game, um, just because we play really well together. And I think, you know, just, you know, having a good relationship with each other off the court and, you know, being comfortable with each other helps us play really well together. Stewie draws a lot of attention, and that leaves Tuck to do things that the other team goes, I didn't know she could do that. Because Tuck is so good, they have to guard her. So that leaves more opportunities for Stewie. So it, it works both ways for them. They help each other by being good individually and by being really good together. Oh yeah, me and Stewie, I call her Stewie. You know, we've had a great chemistry since, I've known her since maybe eighth grade. So, you know, just playing with each other all year. Um, even this summer playing together in Canada, you know, just building on each other each year. Uh, we know on the court we have each other's back and even off the court. I, I still get a kick out of going to practice and seeing what they can do. Um, I like the fact that Stewie and Mariah and Tuck, this is their fourth year at Connecticut, and they still look at me like, Coach, can you help us do this? So I think that when the time comes that my players don't think I can help them, then it'll be time to stop coaching but right now uh, at least I think they do anyway I think they they want me to help them so as long as that's the case I enjoy coaching